Yo, what's going on everyone? Cruz here, and guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing the all brand new Puff Lord secret pet inside of Pet Catchers. So if you guys do want to be enjoying this video, I think you guys know what to do. Let's go ahead and crush 30 likes on this video. Also, if you guys are adding to the channel, please subscribe and think about turning up those vacations to never miss a future upload. Lastly, I do just want to give a huge shout out to my all new brand new Discord server. If you guys do want to join for everything Pet Catchers, Roblox, or just a fan of my content, or maybe would like to help with a future video like the fan in today's video, I will have a link in the description description down below. And before I actually do go ahead and showcase this pet, obviously I want to go over how you guys can get it, but for you guys that already do know how you guys can get it, I will have timestamps down below, so feel free to skip to the part where I do end up showcasing the pet. Anyways, all you guys want to do is head over here and teleport to Atlantis. Now once you head over here and you do teleport to Atlantis, you're just going to come over here to where this little boss area is, come in here and you're going to want to talk to the King Pufferfish. Now, once you go ahead and talk to the King Pufferfish, you will get one quest, which is probably the most difficult quest currently in the game. You have to do so much stuff for this. But once you go ahead and complete all of these quests, you will not only get the Puff Lord, but you'll get 30 Prismatic Eggs, 50 Golden Cherries, 125 of the... Um, Mega Lucky Potions, 30 Prismatic Elixirs, 25 Prismatic Sundays, 15 Prismatic Tomes, and 2 Gems. Anyways guys, with that out of the way, let's just get right into the video and go ahead and trade the friend that I'm actually going to be trading in today's video. And I'm pretty sure he actually got 4 in cereal. But anyways guys, let me go ahead and send him a trade request. Again, huge shout out to him. I don't really know how to pronounce the name, Johan or whatever. Um, I do want to give a huge shout out to him again for allowing me to review this pet in today's video. You are an absolute legend. Now, like I said, guys, this is cur currently one of the rarest pets in the game because of how little of these actually exist. But anyways, guys, after this trade processes, let's go ahead and take a look at the pet in game. Now, if we do scroll down here, you guys will probably notice that um, the pet is right here and it is a four in cereal. And currently at the time of this recording, he actually has the fourth one and there are only currently four in the world that currently exist so again huge shout out to him for allowing me to review this but for the base stats the base stats are going to do 4200 damage 1600 gold and 3000 arcade tokens anyways guys without further ado let's go ahead and equip this pet and this pet looks absolutely massive this pet looks insane look at this thing I mean, this is what the Puff Lord is going to look like in-game. This thing looks incredible. But like I said, guys, like most of my videos of today's video, we are going to be fully maxing this pet out. I'm not sure if you can make it a mythic. We will see here momentarily. But anyways, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and make this pet a shiny because I really, really am curious. So for all of you guys that are wondering if I'm going to be grinding for this, actually, it looks like we can't make this a mythic, sadly. But for all of you guys that are wondering if I'm going to be grinding for this, Hell no, I, I'm, I'm like, dude, I can't do all those quests. That's going to take me forever. But anyways, let's go ahead and make this a shiny. Take a look at what it looks like. Actually, you know what? I kind of like this. Oh, he's sleeping. I kind of like this. I'm not going to lie. I mean, personally, I like the purple a lot more. I'm not a huge, huge fan of the blue. I mean, blue is one of my favorite colors, but I mean, purple obviously is always going to solo for me. But this is what the shiny um, Puff Lord is going to look like in game. This pet does just look absolutely insane. For everybody that is farming this pet, I mean, it is most definitely worth it because of one, not only how rare it's going to be and it probably have some pretty decent value to it, but also just because it just looks really, really cool. And the quest is like super hard. So not a lot of people are going to be doing the quests. But anyways, guys, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and fully max this pet out. Now, sadly, I do not have any level up runes so i already did talk to him and he said that he will be uh, maxing it out for me so i can show you guys uh, what it looks like but uh, i will be going ahead and throwing max deadly um, max coins and max um max arcade or token runes just so i can go ahead and show what the pet looks like because he already said that he's going to undo everything so we can keep the pet untouched so i'm just going to go ahead and throw these runes on here just to show you guys what the pet will look like when it is fully maxed with max stats but anyways guys with that out of the way i'll go ahead and i'll see you guys shortly
All right, guys, now for the final stats, when this pet is a shiny and a level one, like I said, don't worry, we will be making this a level 25 here momentarily. With Token X, Deadly X, and Looting X, this pet's going to do a whopping 21,000 damage, 9,600 gold, and 18,000 arcade tokens. But anyways, guys, that out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and trade my friend back, and I'm, he's going to be fully maxing this out with max uh, level, level 25. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys shortly. All right, guys, now when this pet is a shiny level 25 and is fully maxed out, with max x stats this pet is going to do a whopping 42,000 damage, 19,200 gold, and 36,000 arcade tokens. So if you ask me personally, this pet is most definitely not worth the grind, but if I had to guess, after the next update or whatever, this Puff Lord ends up leaving, this pet is probably going to either get a massive buff, or it is going to get a mythic variant, or maybe even both, because, I mean, even with this thing being, like, a mythic and everything, I mean, the pet will still do, like, 84,000 thousand damage which i believe makes it one of the best in the game but still personally like for all of like the super hard quests you gotta do i mean the um the emoji pet just really doesn't seem like i don't know the the emoji pet was like super less uh diff like like a lot more difficult or a lot less difficult than the uh, puff lord but the puff lord does a lot less damage and has a lot worse stats than the uh the the emoji so hopefully this does end up getting either a buff or a mythic or maybe both because i mean this is probably one of the coolest looking pets currently in game and i would love to see like this thing get a huge buff i mean because like if you're grinding for this and you're watching this video you're probably going to be super disappointed after seeing the stats just because of well how bad they are but anyways guys that's gonna do it for this video again huge huge shout out to my friend for not only allowing me to showcase this pet off but also for helping me max this pet out in today's video so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and i'm going to trade him back obviously just so i can go ahead and show you guys that i am going to be giving him his pet back just you know to hopefully show that i'm more trusted but anyways, again, huge, huge shout out to him for not only just allowing me to review this pet, but also helping me max it in today's video. Again, huge shout out to you, Johan. Thank you so, so much. But anyways, guys, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit the like button down below. Also, if you guys are out into the channel, please subscribe. Also, think about turning on post notifications to never miss a future upload. Also, make sure you guys do let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys prefer more? Do you guys like the pet or do you like the shiny pet more? Or do you guys think it's worth it? Do you guys think it's not worth the grind? Make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.